Okay, are you ready? Tell me you got more cars to go look at. Come on inside real quick. Let me give you my card and I'll give you some information really quick on the particular car. Okay, who can overcome it right now? See, because I'm going to overcome this shit. I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires I would be something better, energy Got a fire in my soul to keep burning A pain that keep hurting A curse is emerging, feel the thirst Now, the second one you're gonna get is I got more cars to think about. Does that make sense? So, I'm gonna hit you. Is that cool? Okay, so it says, hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks for letting me drive the Honda Civic, um, but I got a couple more I wanna go look at. I'm gonna get back with you. What others you wanna look at? Uh, just a couple other Hondas. Oh, a couple other Hondas. What, what model are you? The yeah, sport model? What model yeah, just like this one. Oh, just like that? Yeah, you were closest to me. There's two other ones I printed off I want to go peek at. Okay, and what's the difference between my car and their car? I mean, they look the same, but I hadn't seen them yet. That's why I want to leave and go check them out. So why would you want to go look at the other car when you have the same one that you're looking for right in front of you? It's because I haven't seen them yet. Well, yeah, I just want to go see all of them. Look, you, you, look you, you did a good job. I appreciate you I'll today. I'll tell you what, Andy. Let's go inside right now. We'll pull up on my computer really quick, and, and we'll... See what difference are the options. Yeah, I want to see them with my eyes, though. Is it the car? Yeah. No, I just want to see them with my eyes. Okay. Look, I appreciate it. I know you need to make a sale today, man. You've done a good job. Look, let me just go down there and check them out, and I'll come back. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. Come on inside real quick. Let me give you my card, and I'll give you some information really quick on this particular car. Okay, who can overcome it right now? See, because I'm going to overcome this shit. I got more cars to go look at. Go. Totally understand. Do you like this one in particular? From one to ten, how'd you like it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a nine. I like it. I just oh, want to see these other two. Yeah. Okay. Did it meet all your needs, all your family needs, mm -hmm. or anything like that? Yeah, I researched the car before I came okay, in. Yeah, I fully understand. You're obviously researching cars and stuff like that. You want to go look at other options. You're not just comparing cars. You're comparing numbers. So if you just give me five minutes of your time, come on inside real quick. I'll just give you the numbers, crunch it. You can take home, think about it. You can compare everything. But just give me the opportunity to give you the numbers real quick. Let's head on inside. Follow me this way. Okay. All right. So listen, here's what I want to ask everybody say future expectations. future expectations. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you think that means when I say future expectations? What you're expecting in the future. That's it. What say you did go drive two or 10 more cars? Hypothetically, let's say you did, then what would you do? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. 2100254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Probably have to do something, right? Make a decision. What would it be? What would that decision be about? The car itself, regardless of the deal, or the great deal the dealership was willing to give you? Which one? Be the deal, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, follow me. How can we turn that into a close? Can that be a close? Okay, are you ready? Tell me you got more cars to go look at. I have, more car, I have more cars to look at. Yeah, totally understand. Hypothetically, which is my favorite word you guys are learning now. Hypothetically, let's say you'd already gone and seen all the other vehicles. I don't care if there's two more Honda Civics you want to go look at or 10, but let's say you went and looked at all of them. And then let's pretend my beautiful 2018 right here was the last one you went and looked at. After seeing every single car, all of them, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which car you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself? regardless of the deal or would it probably be the great deal that the dealership's willing to give you? Which one? Probably the deal. Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when. And the wins when the deal's right, right? Right. Cool. So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? No? no? Thank goodness. Follow me inside. And I'm done. You see how I handled it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I funneled him down. I took him. I made him answer my questions to here. Does that make sense? Okay. What is future expectations? Let's say you went and drove all these other vehicles, all of them, and then mine was the last one you went and looked at, right there. After driving all of them, every single one of them, everybody say, in the end. In the end. In the end. In the end. What would be the deciding factor? <clears throat> That's the key close. What would be the deciding factor in the end on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal? Like, that'd be stupid. I say, or... Would it be the great deal and your head starts doing this? Or would it be the great deal the dealership's willing to give you? Which one? And you just shake your head. And if they say, well, I don't know, it would be the car. You say, cool, even if the car was 10 grand more you'd want to spend, you'd still buy it? If it was 10 grand more? Probably not, right? So it would be the deal. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, then what do I say? So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, but when. And the when is when the deal's right, right? Cool, so if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? No? Thank goodness. Hand in chest. See that? Okay, 
Two things right now. You guys want to get rich. What do we have to do? Every single time, you know, we got to train, but every single time somebody pulls in, this is our store, this is our home, this is their home. We are welcoming them back to their home, which is our home. We're gonna walk outside, like we own this place. This is our company. And by the way, we're sweet, we're loving, we're kind, we're not alpha, we're loving. Okay, everybody wants love, you gotta be full of love, okay? Also on top of that, we're gonna go shake their hand and when we get their name, we're gonna repeat it again. Sir, how you doing? Andy Elliott, what's Great. your name? Darren. Darren, yeah. nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. Darren, nice to meet you. See how I snapped his hand? Hey, Andy Elliott, what's your name? Eli. Eli, nice to meet nice you, to sir. Meet you. Okay, what's your name? Andy Elliott, Alex. what's your name? Alex, Alex? Yeah. nice to meet you. Notice, do I let go of your hand? No. no. I say your name, I repeat it back, and then I snap your hand. Why? Does your name matter? It does. You've been hearing your name your whole life. If you're walking down the road, what's your name? Raphael. And somebody says, Raphael. He's like, what? Because that's him. He loves hearing his name. Sir, how you doing? Andy Elliott, what's Raphael. your name? Raphael, nice to meet nice you, to sir. Meet you. Glad you're here. Why would I do that? Is he important? How do I let him know he's important? Through a handshake. You guys may say, ah, oh, that's stupid. No, dude, God made us for communion. We're made to be together. COVID was the best thing that ever happened. I'm not saying like weirdly, like, hey, Andy, that's not good. No, it separated people like this. People had to wear a mask, stand six feet apart. People don't have communion anymore. They're not close. People don't understand what it's like to have close relationships. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get really close to everybody. I'm going to make people feel the way that they've always wanted to feel and the way that they have forgotten to feel. That's my job. Can you guys do this? Yes. Can you do this? Like yes or no? Yes. Okay. So you can do this. Can you change? Can you change? Absolutely. Okay. What are two objections we're always going to get after a trial close? I need to think about it, and I've got a couple more cars to go look at. And if you can overcome these two things, 90% of the people, you can take down that rabbit hole and put on paper. Would you agree? Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.